In today's market, you can't discount the photo taking abilities of the best cheap phones. While you won't find the same larger sensors and the optical zoom lenses, budget phones can still deliver outstanding results with what they have. And the Nothing Phone 2A and the Pixel 7a are proof of that. Now that we've had time capturing 200 photos with the two budget phones, we have a better idea of how they stack up against one another. Who comes out on top? Let's find out. Since they're expected to be doing most of the legwork, the first set of photos of the James A. Farley building reveals how well the main cameras operate. The Pixel 7a's stronger contrast helps to reveal details in the red walkway in the foreground, which is somewhat washed out by the Nothing Phone 2a. There's good detail capture with the two, but upon closer inspection, they're noticeably sharper with the Pixel. First point goes to the Pixel. Moving to a different location, we didn't come close to catching the entire span of the New York Public Library with both of the respective ultra-wide cameras, but at least the main entrance was in frame. The Nothing Phone 2A offers a 114 degree field of view, while the Pixel 7a has a wider 120 degree one. Despite the difference, we like how the Nothing Phone 2A pops out more thanks to the brighter tone of the building's facade. This one goes to the Nothing Phone 2A. Times Square is an excellent location for us to test the camera's dynamic range performance. In nearly every snapshot we captured in Times Square, the Nothing Phone 2A gets the tension more with its stronger dynamic range. What's evident most is how the Nothing Phone 2A boosts the shadows to even out the exposure throughout the scene. The Nothing Phone takes the lead. Neither phone offers an optical camera, but it doesn't stop the average Joe from using the zoom when it's needed. For this test, we took the same set of photos at two times and eight times zoom. You can technically get 10 times zoom with the Nothing Phone 2A, but we kept it at eight times for the comparison. That's because we're noticing bigger differences at eight times zoom with the Pixel 7a's image processing algorithm doing a better job at cleaning the shot. The Nothing Phone 2A appears to be applying your standard digital zoom, while the Pixel 7a sharpens the scene with slightly more definition. To an extent, you could feasibly rely on the Pixel 7a for zoom shots, but not so much with the Nothing Phone 2A. All tied up. Indoors under artificial lighting, we can see how they handle colors differently. We like the true to life color tones of the Pixel 7a shots of all the produce items without applying unnecessary saturation, resulting in the red tones and the red peppers looking natural, which doesn't clash with the greens of the nearby pickles. The Nothing Phone 2A has a penchant to increase the exposure for the entire scene, which results in the green peppers appearing overblown and washed out. Winner goes to the Pixel 7a. This one's a tougher call because the results are very similar with the respective front-facing cameras. We took dozens of selfies with decent light, but it's a tough call every time we look at them side by side on the monitor. These selfies almost look like they were captured by the main cameras, mainly due to all the small details they capture, like the individual strands of hair on the forehead, the fabric material of the hoodie, and the ample field of view. This one's a tie. Similarly, there is a lot to like how they handle portrait mode as well. By default, the Nothing Phone 2A applies the more aggressive bokeh effect to the background, whereas it's a bit more subtle with the Pixel 7a. Between them, the Pixel 7a does a better job of identifying background elements and delivers sharper results. The Pixel is starting to run away with it. When it comes to macro photography, we can get a lot closer to the subjects with the Nothing Phone 2A, while the Pixel 7a requires a bit more separation to get the focus just right. But despite that, the Pixel 7a does an exquisite job of capturing the finer details of this yellow flower. You have to zoom into the shot to make out the pieces of pollen covering it, but they're almost non-existent with the Nothing Phone 2A. When it comes to low light, the Pixel 7a is hands down the phone to go with. In the dimmest conditions with barely any ambient light around, it's still better able to illuminate my backyard. The Nothing Phone 2a's shot is too dark and soft by comparison. Not only are the branches on the tree more clearly visible, but the brick pathway also details the individual bricks better. This one's gonna be the 7a. We will admit that the Nothing Phone 2A does better in low light when there's a strong source of light in the scene, like the string lights around the tree here. While the shot's noticeably brighter, the overblown highlights makes the light too overpowering. In contrast, the Pixel 7A better preserves the details in and around the branches where the string lights are overlaid. It's a landslide. After browsing through the 200 plus photos we captured between the Nothing Phone 2A and the Pixel 7A, we can say with complete certainty that the Pixel 7A has a superior camera. Sure, it's a closer matchup between their main cameras when there's ample lighting around, but the Pixel 7a goes the extra distance of performing better under low light, capturing the macro shots, and using the zoom to an extent. Google's image processing algorithms make everything look sharper and better with the Pixel 7a. Meanwhile, the Nothing Phone 2a is still a superb camera phone, especially while it undercuts the Pixel 7a on price. So, do you agree with our take? Which phone would you rather have? 
let me know in the comments below. You can also follow us on social at Tom's Guide on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. I'm John V, and I'll see you in my next video.